You might have loved the Disney princesses growing up. As you start to get a little older, though, you start to appreciate the handsome men a whole lot more. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hottest male Disney characters. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the sexiest and most charming animated dudes the Mouse House has to offer. Hey, I might not be a doctor, but I know that there's no better cure for a sour face than a couple of boards and some choice waves. Number 10. Prince Philip, Sleeping Beauty I'm awfully sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Not all Disney princes are created equal, and Prince Philip from Sleeping Beauty is a prime example. Not only is he a total hottie, did you see that jawline? But he was also arguably the first Disney prince to actually have a personality. He loves his horse, which is always a good sign, he stands up to his father, and he defeats a friggin' dragon. The fact that he's a great dancer only helps. On top of that, he has that totally adorable red hat and cape combo that no one else would be able to pull off. Now, oh, Father, you're living in the past. This is the 14th century. Number 9. Tarzan. 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 Although we weren't sure why at the time, Tarzan made us feel all tingly inside while growing up. That might be because he wore nothing but a loincloth for the majority of the movie. Tarzan may be lacking in social niceties, but he makes up for it in chiseled features and a super hot bod. Why didn't you tell me there were creatures that looked like me? The love story between Tarzan and Jane is totally steamy, and a little more sensual than Disney movies typically get. Every girl's dream is to be able to basically create the perfect guy, right? Jane's attempts to turn Tarzan into a gentleman don't go as planned, but she realizes in the end that he's perfect just the way he is. Two worlds, one family. Number 8. The Beast and the Prince – Beauty and the Beast You've come to stare at the Beast, have you? Due to his spoiled, unkind ways, this prince is given a beastly exterior to match his personality. The Beast can only break this curse if he learns to love another and earns her love in return. Enter a fair maiden named Belle. Although they get off to a rocky start, the Beast eventually starts to show off his sweet side. Now can I open them? Alright. Now. In an unexpected turn, Belle starts to see past his hairy body, sharp teeth, and devil horns to find a gentle, dedicated, and loving person inside. The same can't be said about the handsome yet egotistical Gaston, who only becomes more monstrous throughout the film. I say we kill the beast! In the end, though, the beautiful man behind the beast emerges. Belle, it's me. Number 7. Hercules. Hercules. I'm the most famous person in all of Greece. I'm... I, I, I'm an action figure! When we say this guy is built like a god, we're not exaggerating. He may have more brawn than brains, but we're not complaining. Even though he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, Hercules is kind and compassionate. Plus, his wavy locks and gigantic arms don't hurt either. His childlike naivete is what makes him so attractive. But you... aren't you... A damsel in distress? The lesson to take away from this 1997 film is that a hero's heart is more important than muscles. Of course, we're happy to take the full package. We can certainly see why they call him Huncules. And this perfect pack is packed up there, pretty pack. <laughs> Number 6. John Smith, Pocahontas. No matter what happens to me, I'll always be with you. Unfortunate themes of colonialism aside, the Disney version of Pocahontas makes a pretty grim true tale into a charming love story. This movie, about the European conquest of the native people of North America, is viewed with rose-colored glasses, and offers the character of John Smith as a good guy alternative to the bad settlers he's surrounded by. It's how we say hello. If we forget the complicated politics behind these characters, John Smith is a man who's open to hearing new opinions and willing to change his worldview, which we commend. Also, he has gorgeous hair and the facial features of a Ken doll. Well, it's not like I have much of a home to go back to. I've never really belonged anywhere. Number 5. Flynn Rider, Tangled Hi. How you doing? Tangled is a more contemporary fairy tale, and Flynn Rider is the modern, sarcastic hero we've all been waiting for. He may be a wanted criminal, but in the end he'll do whatever it takes to keep Rapunzel safe, even going as far as risking his own life. You are my new dream. He's a little vain, but in a charming way, and his soft, sensitive side would make any girl swoon. 
You can imagine falling for him the same way you did for the kid who pulled your pigtails in grade school. They just can't get my nose right. Like Prince Philip before him, Flynn's hilarious dynamic with horses is one of the most endearing things about him. Ah! No, 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 put me down, stop it! No. Number four, Prince Naveen, the princess and the frog. He's beautiful, no? Oh. <laughs> Prince Naveen grew up with a whole lot of privilege and was honestly kind of a brat when audiences first met him. He was the type of spoiled party boy that we never look at twice in real life. With that said, we can also see why he's apparently dated thousands of ladies. You have had quite an influence on me, which is amazing because I have dated thousands of women and... Naveen is totally dapper and handsome, but it takes him being turned into a frog to actually get his ego in check. It isn't until he reveals his sensitive, humble side that Tiana finally starts to warm up to him. Like the Beast, this transformation ultimately changes Naveen for the better. You just kissed yourself a princess. And I'm about to do it again. Number 3. Li Shang, Mulan. I'll make a man out of you. We'd let this Chinese army captain make a man out of us any day. When it comes to training his warriors, Li Shang maintains a stern, no nonsense demeanor. What's more, he's fearless on the battlefield and can pull an arrow out of his shoulder seemingly without suffering any pain. While he's certainly an authoritative figure, Li Shang isn't a stick in the mud either. He also has a shy, socially awkward side, as exemplified in the adorable scene when he tries to express his feelings for Mulan. You... you fight good. This guy is so hot that Grandmother Fa is practically convinced to join the army. We can't blame her. Woo! Sign me up for the next war! Number 2. Aladdin. Aladdin. Morning, ladies. This street rat scampered into our hearts the first time we saw him stealing bread in Agrabah. He's got that whole bad boy homeless thief thing going for him and knows his assets well enough to simply forego shirts in favor of an open vest. Aladdin is poor but still manages to give to those more needy than him. He keeps in high spirits and looks on the bright side, even though his life is a difficult one. He's quick thinking and witty, showing mad confidence while trying to woo Jasmine. When he sang A Whole New World, we were ready to jump right on his magic carpet. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Pocahontas can't keep running off. It's dangerous out there. When are you going to start doing something with that big brain of yours? A prince? But didn't you know that... Goodbye! Number 1. Prince Eric, The Little Mermaid I'm sorry if this knucklehead scared you. <laughs> He's harmless, really. A guy who loves dogs is always number one in our books. Okay, so Eric may have had the hots for human Ariel before she had the ability to speak, which is somewhat questionable. But he continues to love her even after she turns back into a mermaid. Eric, you gotta get away from here! No, I won't leave you! His swoopy black hair is totally enviable, and we could completely lose ourselves in those bright blue eyes. Also, he was willing to put Ariel before himself in order to save her. We can completely relate to Ariel's decision to risk her entire existence for this hottie. Would you like to join me on a tour of my kingdom tomorrow? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.